How do we design and make a minimal wood side table with a Glowforge? Hi there, I'm Tim Ung, and today I'm going to show you how I design and make a minimal side table with a laser cutter. For our materials and tools, we'll be using quarter inch cedar plywood, wood glue, a rubber hammer, paper masking tape, natural oil finish, and a Glowforge laser cutter. To design this project, I used a software called Rhinoceros and I start by using the previous simple side table project that I made earlier on my channel as a basis to start from. The overall dimensions for this project will be roughly 19 inches tall and 18 inches square. My primary goal is to reduce the amount of material that I used to create this project. For its assembly, I plan to use slots and tabs to combine materials and create the overall frame and legs of the table. I work between the two-dimensional design and 3D model to make sure that all the components will come together perfectly. Now that the design is complete, I apply paper masking tape to the quarter inch cedar plywood to protect its surface from scorches and burns. Then, I place the cedar plywood into my Glowforge laser cutter and begin the process of laser cutting every piece. When all of the pieces are cut, I remove the paper masking to reveal the beautiful wood finish and organize every piece for the project. I start the assembly process by gluing the ends of the cross support bar into two sides of the frame. Then, I combine the remaining two sides of the frame with the assembly by applying wood glue in the slots and pushing them into place. With the frame set, I apply wood glue on the top edge of the frame, align the slots of the tabletop with the finger joints of the frame, and use a rubber hammer to combine all of the components. I wipe off any excess wood glue with a damp paper towel.
The next step requires coordination between the table's legs and the frames. I turn the tabletop assembly upside down so that the frames are facing up. Then, I take the two components that will come together to create the legs of the table and align them with their respective slots. I remember how the assembly comes together, apply wood glue to the edge of the finger joints, and join the two components to create the legs of the table. When the legs of the table are assembled, I coordinate the slots at the top of each leg with the frame, apply wood glue, and join all of the pieces together. Lastly, I apply a natural oil finish to the surfaces of the wood to bring out the natural beauty of the material and to protect it from dirt and debris. With that, the minimal side table is complete. As my plant collection in my home continues to grow, I plan to use these side tables to lift the smaller plants off of the floor and into the direct sunlight coming in from my windows. For now, this minimal side table will be located right next to my simple side table so I could see the evolution of my design ideas. If you'd like to support me and my channel, you can do so by liking this video, subscribing, and sharing it with a friend. I hope you enjoyed this video and I look forward to seeing you again next week.